this is Kiddo, this is my smartphone, and this was my previous project, and this was a thumbnail. And now you guys will probably thinking, like what I'm going to do today. So if you are reading the title on the thumbnail, then you guys will already know what I'm just going to do now. And you guys are on. Today, I'm going to kill my smartphone with Gado Game Engine. And the reason why I'm just saying this bro, I'm serious right now. By making this video, my smartphone gone up to 51 degrees Celsius and for PC it's normal but for a mobile it's extremely higher. Like so yeah, just follow along this video and let's get started with that. And after taking inspiration for my previous project, I started building the most realistic Gado mobile project. And I'm sorry for the video picture quality, this is only this clip picture quality, this is so bad because of the canvas or not fitting properly. So manage for this clip only, otherwise the next clips will be so fine. Now, I just created a simple hospital room with a ghetto, and this is currently a blank project. So now it was time to create a room because this was an empty project, so I need to get started with creating a room. And for making a room, the best thing is ghetto is machine sense ready and for making this i'm going to make a single machine sense ready and then i will just duplicate that machine sense ready for making a row so there is your boy gtg and now we have a row from outside it's just looking horrible but from inside it's looking beautiful and now it was time to lose something global illumination let's do it in the global illumination was not pretty simple because in mobile Kiddo did not support SDFGI and SDFGI was the global illumination S. So I need to find a way to do global illumination on Android smartphone and then make it extremely realistic and look at this what I thought with it. So as you guys are already knowing now that global illumination doesn't support mobile version of Kiddo but I am so crazy so I will do it. I will only want to bounce a light right. I only want to bounce the light in the room. So for doing that what I will just do I will just use a reflection prop for like bouncing on the room because we are making a simple room a single room and a hospital room. Hospital rooms are not a complex they are just simple so I will use reflection props with its maximum settings to make this working as a global illumination. And for just ignoring the black screen what I did I did actually a uh, directional light 3D advancement. What I did, I just changed the light color to match the realistic uh, lighting. And then what I did, I just experimented the sun color codes and just added the realistic, the real time sun color code to the light. And this is actually looking so great right now. But something is missing, that's textures. So let's add textures to this and I will meet you after installing some textures. And wait right here. So you guys do know that hospitals have a tile texture which is so common like they have tiles on the floor, on the wall and on other kind of things. So what I did, I do not find tile textures online. So what I did, I was having my own computer language called DMAP. I used that all for making my own PBR materials of tile. Let's do it. So guys, unfortunately, I can't show you how I did the texture because my my code editor was not allowing me to record the video. But look at the debug screen. This was the debug screen how I compiled my language. So I just write the TMath language code, uh, which is my own computer language I designed for developing materials. And these are the whole files I use. I just compiled my file and there I got all of the materials. Don't worry, I will package this file to the assets so that you can just access those from description also. And let's install this now. now. So guys, installation is already done. Now it's time to apply the textures and let's do it also. So there we go, we have installed the textures on the crown. These are the textures I made with my own computer language. You can also get that language. I will drop down the link of that language in the description. And now, this was, it was time to make a black color paint because it's locally found in hospitals. So what I did, I just made some uh, matches in 3D and just painted them as black color. Also, in this process, I also painted the walls because I don't leave them empty. I also painted the wall and I'm supplying those with what looking like this. So there we go guys, we are now finding all the wall textures and the black outline or the badge comes on the hospital walls. Now, it's just time to actually do something which is bad. Let's install the bat. 
The guys whole swimwears are extremely complex 3D models which I cannot model on my mobile because there is no app which can uh, model or help me to model this kind of complex bed. So thankfully I just got this amazing hospital bed on Sketchfab by someone you can just see the ID of their uh, on, you can see their ID on the screen. And now let's install this but before we do we, we also need to install the curtain so I will also install you the curtain from Sketchfab. This is not looking cool but we will customize it don't worry. So let's install this in get down and I will meet you in get down. So then let's install the same thing in get down. So firstly I use the 30 keywords to uh, place the models on get down and get down is so good it's important assets and it was just time to place them perfectly and scale them and you can see what I did and how carefully I did this thing. And everything was looking so professional, so good, but it was also time to make it over. As you can see, I am using the queue, but this is uh, not good. And so that, for that, hospital doors are so common. And for making that, I used my own modeling skills in Prisma 3D because doors are pretty simple. They can be modeled through mobile also. So I use Prisma 3D software to model that a door and let's, I'm, I'm just going to show you that door today. So guys, we have installed a door and this is our room currently looking like. It's looking so good man. I, I, I'm just, I'm just I'm proud of myself. I made this thing and I decided to make it. And look at this. This is looking already impressive. Now, let's add some finishings to this. And then we will make it for PC also. But boys, I also added a table on this. I modeled this table myself on Prisma 3D because this looks just cool. As patients will also eat food, so this table is just those for that purpose. And now let's also add an air conditioner to the room so that it will look much more realistic. Let's do it. So guys, I used the Google search for finding the air conditioner, and unfortunately, I didn't find any good air conditioner on the free tag. So what I did, I just made my own print air conditioner in Prisma 3D and this is what I committed. So guys, I developed this 3D model of air conditioner and this was looking already so realistic. But there was a problem. Like that was like already we had mobile version looking so good. But it was also the time for making a PC version. So let's get started by making a PC version. So that's I just reimported the project in a different directory. So yeah, that's it. Now we will set a renderer to forward plus so that we can get the PC features also. Let's do it. And believe me, it's, this is now at forward plus. But when this was loading at forward plus, bro, literally it took more than one minute. Uh, this video is at fast motion, that's why you can't see. So now, anyway, what we will do, we will just add volumetric fog, some ambient occlusion, and then we will just actually process these for getting a real life visuals on the scene and there's it like we are just only playing with ambient occlusion and volumetric fog and some realistic sunlight so that we can get that extreme realistic and this is what we came with enjoy the final project So this was a final project and I hope you liked it. If yes, the description will contain a file for this project. Check out it if you really want this. Otherwise it's up to you. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you a very important thing that this is a gaming channel. If you want to watch gaming content then subscribe this, otherwise it's up to you. And guys I really support so if you really want to watch gaming content then also subscribe this. Also I will make some more real estate projects for get those so if you want to get that please subscribe and comment what was that and also guys i need your support to uh, actually make tmat a popular language because i made this open source for you guys to make prepare materials from El video so i use tmat also so i will already be, i will bring a full tutorial for tmat and we will make extremely level pbr so let's get into it i will meet you in the next video bye bye for that time